this is Mr. Collier and today we're going to learn how to uh, check to see if our data is normally distributed on Autograph. So here I have the heights of grade 11 students. I think I have about 500 data points. So first thing I'm going to do is select all my data. and uh, So I'll select all my data and then I'm going to copy and paste it over into Autograph. Okay, so now I have the data copied. I'm going to put it into Autograph. Um, so I'm going to so let me just leave this data. So I'm going to enter. So first of all, I open up Autograph. Uh, we need to be in advanced mode. So if you're not in advanced mode already, you need to go to View Preferences, and over here in General, you need to switch to Advanced Level, so that we get all the options that we need. To enter data, uh, I think you can click on one of these or just go to data. I'm going to enter raw data. Um, so I'm going to enter them here. And by the way, we're in uh, one variable statistics mode. Okay, so we should be clicked on this uh, summation symbol as one variable statistics mode. All right, so I've got data entered here. And I'm going to click OK. And it shows up here as raw data. You can change the name of it if you want to. but. So my data is all in there. Uh, so what we need to do now is we can click on this and we can go to dot plot and yeah, plot up. This looks all good. So I've plotted the data and it does kind of look like a normal distribution, right? It's kind of symmetric uh, with uh, the mean here in the middle. And what we can do now is actually I might want to change the scale a bit to see this better. Sometimes you can click on this check mark to make that happen. Um, so let me see if that works. It doesn't work in this case, actually. So, But if I look down here, it looks like it's going from 140 to 180 on the x-axis, and from 0 to about 70 on the y-axis. So I can change that manually. Um, so we said 0 or 140. 140 to 180, and on the y-axis, 0 to about 70. Let's try that. Okay, so that looks a bit better. Uh, and what we can do now is, well, one thing we can do is we click on this button here. It says mean plus or minus three standard deviations. So I'll show you the uh, standard deviations. So you can see, like, you know, within one standard deviation, 68% of the data should be in here if it's normally distributed. Um, so we've got that there, and also you can, we can now click on, just right click anywhere, and we go to enter probability distribution. Okay, uh, so we click on that, and we want to go click on normal, and then click OK. And, well, if you know the standard deviation and the mean, you could type it in there. Or you just click on Fit to Data. And it actually calculates the mean and standard deviation for you. And click OK, and it will draw a curve over your, uh, over your distribution. So it looks like it's uh, pretty close to a normal distribution. All right, so that's graph for you. You can also, I think, also get some view statistics box. Yeah, I think that'll show you some statistics that you might also want to use. So things like uh, median, lower quartile, upper quartile is all there and standard deviation is all given to you as well.